What you doing, readers? I'm the AC. I'm going to talk about the book Sir Fugle and the Horn Magi. Magi, Magi, Magi. I've heard it said a bunch of different ways. I'm going to say Magi. Sorry if you think I'm wrong. I might be. But yes, Sir Fugle and the Horn Magi by Andrew Loveson. Um, just a little random book I found. And at first, I was a little hesitant to pick it up. It's kind of seems like a childish idea for a story. Maybe not necessarily childish, but something that's more geared towards kids. I mean, it's about a guy and a walking goat who goes on a quest to do stuff. It seems like something that would be kid friendly. It is not. It is delightfully not. It is, I would say, teen level definitely not something kids would read understand and pick up on but it definitely has a lot of stuff that is amusing for adults even though it seems like something maybe for younger readers i'm gonna tell you it is not and it was great i'm glad i read it it's a quick read and it was something i look forward to seeing more of but let me talk more about it so what this book is about is about a guy named Matadrin. I think I'm saying that name right I don't know he's an adventurer for hire who also can pause time and kind of just think through stuff doesn't really do much more than that in his pause time state but he also has a partner I'm going to say friend um, his name is Zinkus he's a bipedal goat sorcerer now, it's the chemistry between these two that make the story so amusing. There's so much sarcasm between them. Really, if I didn't have friends I also had this kind of relationship with, I would think these two just hate each other and got stuck with each other. But no, I, I have friends just like this where we just onto each other all the time. We're always joking and just giving each other crap. This is what these two do, but it's not just these two. Um, there's pretty much everyone they meet also have this same kind of back and forth just sarcasm I love sarcasm so much and it's probably why this book was so delightful for me but I kind of forgot that there was a goal uh, in this book they're supposed to be going after some six-legged giant bear thing that's supposed to be monstrous I forgot that until eventually it happens near then it's because each chapter I while reading could picture as like a cartoon like some silly cartoon and it's not very well I guess it's not really action at all really it's just jokes and they're not absurd they're not dry either they're just witty and sarcastic going to emphasize that more and it's something I imagine if you just like those 15 minute cartoons where they do two 15 minutes in one episode. That's what I imagine this. It fits the that kind of framework so well while I was reading it. And it's great. And yeah, it made me forget that they were doing this. It seemed episodic in, with each chapter. But then once you get back and I remember what they're supposed to be doing, I realized what they were doing actually was pertaining to their quest. It's just... It's written in such a way like each chapter could stand alone as its own little thing. I guess that's what I'm getting at. But yeah, surprisingly delightful. And at the end, he gives a good like, here's what's coming next. And he, in the beginning of that, he tells more about Mathedrin. Uh Mathedrin is Sir Fugal. He talks about that stuff. The only thing I would think is... Maybe if you're going to put that in at all, uh, put that little bit at the beginning. Because once I hit that, I was like, oh yeah, I realized there was really no backstory or anything to these characters. Um, but then they put it at the end. I was like, ah, I could have used this introduction of who he is at the beginning. It didn't really matter while I was reading it. I didn't even realize it until I got to the end. And then, But it was a nice way to lead into a new book and get me looking forward to seeing what next silly quest they could go on and also because these two seem like they're a lot more powerful <laughs> than they let on it seems like all the trouble they get into they're pretty chill about it 
Uh, and I think that's just the confidence uh, because it seems like things don't really ever go their way. And I think that's just because it doesn't matter. It's not a big enough problem to really concern them. And I think that's another reason I like it. Yeah, it, like I said, it's not dry, but it, there's not a whole lot of excitement because there doesn't need to be. It's a short read, it's packed full of sarcasm jokes, it doesn't get outrageous. So it's a nice, it's just nice. It's a nice book to just consume. But yeah, if you haven't read it, haven't seen it, look look for it. Surf People in the Horn Maggie by Andrew Lovson. But let me know what you think. Have you heard of it? Have you read it? Go ahead and tell me in the comments. But if you like what I have to say about this book, go ahead and give this video a like. If you want to see me talk about more books and other stuff I'm reading and all kinds of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I do plenty of that. But until then, thank you for watching. I'm DAC and bye.